what about today's lab? What about the what about this uh, the deer, the graphing lab that you have in front of you? You have several several sets of data and a bunch of questions you have to work on in your groups. You have some data that talks about carrying capacity. Does everybody understand what carrying capacity is? It does, but reading it, it said the the lab says it a bunch of times, it explains it a bunch of different ways, it shows you in a bunch of different ways, it's, I think two or three different graphs that actually has you label the graphs. I want to make sure you get this terminology straight, so do you mind if I just go through a quick rundown of the vocabulary, or do, would you rather work as a team right now on your own? Team. team. Oh, wow. All right, have a good one then. Yes, it is true that bacteria reproduce quicker, so you're going to get a larger population growth right away. That's true. Yes, question? I wanted to say an answer. Yeah, go ahead. So is it because like, bacteria have more food to eat and everything's That's right. And that's really the big part is what are the limiting agents? What are the limiting... What are the limiting do you understand the idea of limiting uh, factors? Do you all understand that concept? Limiting factors. What do they mean by that? What's going to limit the population? So you have an elephant, and I'm not even going to try to draw an elephant, so I'll just draw a square, another little square, and a trunk, a tail. All right, an elephant. You have an elephant, and then... So you have a big elephant, and then you have bacteria. What's going to limit the population of elephants versus... They're both going to have limits, but which was going to have a limit that's a lot less, a lot, a lot lower? Yeah? The bacteria, wait, sorry. The, the bacteria have less, have less limits, or, or they, have more, they have less things limiting them. Why are you putting things away? I'm, I'm to explain. Um, the elephants will get killed faster. Everybody loves to go right to killing, but the, and you're right. They they can be killed off faster. But the question is, how much does this thing need to eat? A lot. Like A lot. How much water does it need? A lot. How much land does it need? A lot. All right. So there's three limiting, three big limiting eight factors. What are they? Food. Water and land or space. Can I put space? Because it might be water if it's in the ocean, or but space. So space. The environment's defined by these things, right? Land, water, availability of water, availability of land. You know this. What limits you? How much space you have? Everybody in here wants their own room at home, right? You all want food. You want water. These are things you need to keep going as well. Well, which one of these two is going to need less of it? Bacteria, because they're smaller, they need less space, they, have, they need less water, and they need less food. So, and by the way, they can eat a lot of different kinds of food, right? So you'd expect that over time, if you start with a small number, a small population of bacteria, that quickly you'd see what's called exponential growth. This line form, this graph, is a graph of something called exponential growth. And what, what you expect to see when you see exponential growth is you see something squared or, or cubed. What happens is that one thing turns into a second thing, and two turns into four, and four into 16, right? It doesn't turn to eight, and then 16 then even squares again, right? So that because of that, you see this kind of real steep, and it keeps going. Now, bacteria, would you'd expect that they do that because they don't really have a lot of limits to their, to, their, uh, to their growth chart. Now, if we take a look at elephants, though, elephants are going to start off just like bacteria. They're going to start exponential growth, but at some point, they're going to start to limit off. They're going to die off. Why? Because they don't have enough what? Food, water, space. And yes, being hunted is, is part of that as well. I agree. 
But food, water, and space is going to limit them. And ultimately what happens is once they over, they're not, it's not going to be this perfect curve. What's going to happen is they're going to, they're going to go above their carry capacity. Then what's going to happen when they run out, start to run out of food, water, or space? It's going to come down. Now it comes down. It comes below that carrying capacity. And what happens? You have enough food, water, and space. And what happens to the population? It, it goes up again. And then it, it goes above that carry capacity again. And it goes down and up and down until it comes close to equilibrium but never really reaches there. It just keeps going up and down. You just keep kind of having these mini crashes. And, and so if we do, drew a dotted line over the, where the carrying capacity is, do you see that the carry capacity here is of the, of the environment that they're in, the environment that they're in, the carrying capacity is the place where they just don't do well. You get more than this, more than this carrying capacity. More than this carrying capacity and the, and the populations start to die. Less and the pe populations thrive. So there's plenty of food below it, water and space. Above it, there's not enough. Yeah. When it it's smarter, we just always going to make our carrying capacity so that That's called sustainability. That's humans. That's the humans. That's what sustainability is. So when you go up and you do this, when you see this chart, this is called, by the way, before you go, this is called logarithmic growth. All right, I hope you learned something. Make sure you finish this by tomorrow so we can have a great discussion tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Come here and ask that question. I can't hear you. Why would the carrying capacity be like here? Ah, because, see, why do you get this overshoot? Is that is your question, right? Like, it, if this is the how much the, the land, food, and water, and space, the environment can hold, how come the people overpopulate? Well, that's because it takes time for things to die. So if we have too many babies, right, it, as a population, we have too many babies, we don't have enough food, water, and space for the babies, they're not going to die right away. They don't just stop existing, right? It's not like you reach a line, an invisible field, and then you stop existing. No, you just keep having them, and what happens to those babies? They, star they starve, or maybe the adults start to starve and die, and so the population slows down and then sinks now, once you get back down here, now there's plenty of food, water, and what are people going to do then? Don't start. start having babies. And I'm just, we're talking about animals here. Uh, we don't really like to talk about people because people can make choices. But, and so can animals. But in general, uh, animals are going to do what animals do. Wild animals, non-human animals, I should say it that way. So what happens is that, and by, but by the way, humans also do this. Right now, we are, our, our growth, our population growth is this. Eventually, what's going to happen? We're going to run out of one of these three, right? And then what's going to happen? Famine, the starvation, uh, lack of water, space. And you're going to see this sinking. Now, we are, t we are lucky enough to have technology. Uh, hey, 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 hey. I'm recording. So... There's, there's, uh, so there's, li there's limits, right? There's limits in, in the environment. This is, these are real hard limits, but technology has allowed us to, to manipulate these limits. Okay, two more questions. Yeah. One, so does every organism or population have a carrying capacity? Yes. Like, is everyone different? Everyone's different. Excellent, yeah. And two, so the carrying capacity is what determines the population. That's right, eventually. But here's, here's the other thing, is this shows the bacterial growth here in the early on. Eventually, this line will also start to do this. Because eventually, the bacteria will reach their carrying capacity because they can't continue to live. In, now, what's that limit? Well, for bacteria, it's a lot higher. But, and for elephants, it's a lot lower. For humans, it's, you know, who knows. But the bottom line is that there are limits, and that Karen, the, the graph will show that. All right? All right.